Hey guys, uh, today I want to show you the new Totem S laser engraver that I got. And uh, just as a point of reference, this is my first and only laser engraver. I'm very new to it, so I'm giving you um, my review of this from a complete newbie standpoint. Uh, and I will say though that I do have a lot of experience with 3D printing, so there, there were some things that were similar, but there were some other things that were not at all similar. I do have it running right now. I'm going to apologize for any blue light you may see me flickering over here. I'm going to show you guys the engraver, but it is mid-print at the moment. So I will need to be using the uh, green uh, safety glasses that they have included with this, with this uh, engraver, just to make sure you guys will be able to clearly see everything, but I will apologize for the, the green tint. So I'm going to show you that here now. Uh, okay, give me one second here. It came with these nice green protective sun glasses. We'll put them on here. All right, so here's the printer going. I'm sorry, the engraver going. I'm just gonna take this away for a second just so you guys can see what it looks like through a foam uh, when this isn't on here. So bear with me just a second. All right, that blue light of the laser uh, is, is super intense. So just be careful with your eyes. Definitely make sure you're wearing this when you're looking at it. So the workable space, um, the workable print area for this is 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters. Please ignore my tablet that I have there. It's just kind of holding down that corner so it would be a nice smooth uh, work area here. So this engraver, they basically say that it's good for pretty much <clears throat> anything that doesn't really have a reflective surface to it. You know, keep in mind though, it's a laser, so you do run the risk of, of burning things. There is a, a there is a learning curve here. Google's your friend. You don't really get a lot of information from the manufacturer uh, themselves, but I got it working. The thing works pretty nicely. Um, honestly, the biggest headache for me was putting it together. It says it takes 15 to 30 minutes, but it, it's probably a lot easier if you have a second set of hands because the way that all of these corner pieces go together you kind of have to hold things at weird angles sometimes and there's some t-nuts in there that you also have to kind of play around with just to get it together it's really not that bad it, it's just consuming and awkward time consuming and awkward at times so just just kind of keep that in mind uh, as you guys can see right now i've got a engrave going on a piece of wood that i got from my local hardware store detail on this is pretty great i'm actually really pleased with this so far um, something that I did not realize that I wish they would have told me is that there is this, let me drop these for a second, yeah, sorry, sorry guys, they include this little calibration cube, um, and what I saw people were doing with it, it took a video on Google for me to find out, but essentially, you know, if they put it, they put it underneath the laser itself, then the whole thing, as you recall, is a big rectangle. So what I'm referring to when I'm talking about this is the bottom of this, of the laser itself, okay? So if you, what you're supposed to do is, before every engraving, what I do is I took and I lowered the laser down manually using this little metal knob right there. You twist that guy to raise the whole thing up or down. So before every print, I would just lower the laser down to basically just be snug touching this. Uh, and that seems to be about the perfect distance to get some higher quality stuff out of here. Um, you do use the, I'm just going to pronounce it laser gribble software. You can use it. So just so you can see, it is this guy right here. This is the design I'm using. This also had a little bit of a learning curve for me coming from 3D printers. It was pretty straightforward to like home your printer, I guess, but for this would be a laser. What I mean by that is for my printers, I could just press a button and then the laser or the, the print head would just kind of go to wherever the sensors are so it knows where like the zero zero point is. That's not really the case with this. So, you know, it's best to kind of play around um, with these buttons here at the bottom. You get your you get your model in here and I'm probably saying wrong information, so I apologize again, complete, completely new to this and I'm just Googling things as I go. But you put, your, um, you put your image on here and then the first thing I would recommend you do is go and put your, use these buttons to put your laser in like the bottom left hand corner is what I would recommend. And then you should be able to press this little globe button right here 
and that'll set the zero point for it. So keep in mind, this is a Cartesian plane. So the zero point is right here in the center. I chose to center my image on the zero point, so I needed to account for that zero point and just put it in the center of the piece of wood I was burning um, and just hit, hit that button. The other thing that I would highly recommend you do before you actually uh, engrave anything is hit this frame button because what that'll do is that'll take the laser on the actual thing that you're engraving here and it will go around the actual amount of space that it's gonna take up on whatever you're engraving. So that'll give you a very clear picture of where your laser is going to hit and where your laser is not going to hit. Um, Cause you'll, you'll definitely wanna make sure you're protecting, protecting your valuables and items cause it can totally burn stuff. Speaking of burning things, it might be hard to show, but um, in here you will also wanna play around with the settings to make sure that you are using the engrave and not be an idiot like me and use cut when I mean to use engrave. Uh, it's probably hard to show, but I apologize here. One second, Let's see if I can get this going in a nice way for you. It's probably hard to show here, and I apologize, but I used accidentally used cut on my Amazon Fire tablet instead of engrave. So as you can see, I actually burnt into my uh, tablet quite a bit, and then there's where I kind of engraved it, but. I probably shouldn't have even tried it on this. That was stupid of me. That's my own fault. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with this with this engraver, especially being my first one. There is a learning curve. I apologize for having to use my my green uh, glasses here. It is mid print. I did want to show you guys a finished one, but it's not going to be done here in time. Um, but it does come with everything that you need. You will need to have it plugged into a computer as you are printing. Unfortunately, it's not like a, a, this particular model is not like a 3D printer in the sense that um, it doesn't come with a, it doesn't come with a SD card to, you know, save your things to and then play them from here. There's no display or anything. It's basically just on or off and it's basically connected or not connected. So yeah, pretty much the long and short of it, 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter working area here. Um, I've used it on, well, I've used it on wood so far. I tried it on this and I was an idiot and I burnt into my tablet itself. Um, and I also, oh yeah, I forgot. On one of my coasters here. Nope. So it's like a stoneware coaster. This is one of the image files that came with it. Uh, I apologize, I'm trying to get that clear. Um, the dark spot is where there was a piece of piece of tape, but you can actually pretty get a pretty good idea of You know how it engraves anyway, so yeah overall very pleased with this engraver. I'm excited to Get a bit more familiar with it. I wish I could answer some questions I I, I can answer them as best as you yeah, as best as I can but no promises again complete newbie. All right. Thanks for watching